find the roots of the following polynomial equations given one of its roots on the right side. So 1x cubed minus x squared minus x plus 1 equals 0. And they've given us one of its roots, x is equal to 1. So um, since there's no specific um, instructions on how, on how we solve this problem, so I just um, solve it by synthetic division. So we have, so we list the um, coefficients. We have 1, minus 1, another minus 1, and then a 1. And then they give us um, 1 of its root, x is equal to 1. So let's put that in. So we have 1, we bring down the 1, and then 1 times 1 is 1, and then this is 0, and then this is 0, because 0 times 1 is 0. And then we have a minus 1, and minus 1 times a 1 is a minus 1, and we got a 0. So it is indeed x is equal to 1 is one of its roots. Now I did this because um, it will simplify the um, problem to um, second degree polynomial which it this becomes x squared um, plus 0x minus 1 equals 0 or this is this is just um, x squared minus 1 equals 0 so now we can factor x squared minus 1 so we have an x and an x and then we have a plus 1 and a minus 1 so now we can solve each factor we have x plus 1 equals 0 and x minus 1 equals 0 or we subtract 1 subtract 1 or x is equal to minus 1 and we add 1 put it on this side x is equal to 1 so the three um, roots are x is equal to 1 and then we also find x is equal to minus 1 and the other one is x is equal to 1 so there are three roots x is equal to 1 multiplicity of 2 and x is equal to minus 1 now there are three roots because this is a third degree polynomial so next problem we have 3x to the fourth plus 2x cubed minus 13x squared minus x plus 4 equals 0 and they give us one of its roots x is equal to negative 2 so again I'm gonna solve this by synthetic division so we have to list all the coefficients first so we have 3 2 a minus 13 a minus 8 and a 4 now let's um, reduce this polynomial by um, solving um, let's put in minus 2 as its root so it will reduce to a third degree polynomial so we bring down the 3 and then 3 times a minus 2 is a minus 6 and 2 minus 6 is a minus 4 and minus 4 times a minus 2 is a positive 8 and 13 um, minus 13 plus 8 is equal to minus 5 and then we have minus 5 times a minus 2 is a plus 10 and then we have minus 8 and a plus 10 is a positive 2 and then we have a 2 times a minus 2 is a minus 4 and we have a 0 so it is indeed one of its roots so now this reduces to third degree polynomial so now we have to guess another root root on root so we have so I'm gonna plug in a, a positive 2 so let's try it too 
so we bring down a three so these are mostly trial and error if you do this um, method so we bring down the three and then three times two is a six and then minus four plus a six is a positive two and then two times two is a four so we have a minus five and a four so this is a minus one and minus one times a two is a minus two and we get a zero so positive two is also a root so x is equal to plus two so now this um polynomial is reduced to second degree since we found two of its roots so this polynomial becomes 3x squared plus 2 minus 1 equals 0 so now since it is a second degree equation we can probably factor this this equal to 0 so we have um, 3x squared plus 2 minus 1 so we have a um, 3x and an x and then see to get a 2 so this is a minus 1 and a plus 1 so we get if we foil this we get 3x squared plus 3x minus x minus 1 and this will um, yeah so we factored it correctly so now we can um, set each factor equals 0 so we have 3x minus 1 equals 0 and x plus 1 equals 0 so now we solve for x so we put 1 on this side so 3x is equal to 1 or and then we divide 3 so we have x is equal to 1 third now this side we have minus 1 minus 1 we have x is equal to minus 1 so the four roots are x is equal to minus 2 they give us this um, root and then we found x is equal to is another root and then we found x is equal to one third and the other one is equal to minus 1 so there are four roots because this is a fourth degree equation polynomial